In life, it's the people that show up every day and do the boring stuff are the ones that uh, become the goats. You know, so many leaders want to bake the cake in half the time. Okay, well, what kind of cake do you get if you bake it in half the time? Well, you don't get a cake. Every person has to change or die, okay? I read a book a long time ago, and they said, this is change or die, okay? It all begins and ends with change. I could actually spend the rest of this year just talking about change, because that's ultimately all it is. You can develop your skills, okay? And that's awesome. I think you should do that. But at the end of the day, if you don't change you, if you don't change how you see the world, if you don't change how you think, if you don't change how you see yourself, if you don't change your actions, your habits, Okay, none of the skills are going to matter. But if you change those other things I just mentioned, you'll develop the skills. See, everything begins and ends with change. You can try to change your habits, but until you change you, nothing's going to change. If you're ever going to change, you must understand that you do what you do because of the way you think of yourself. We make decisions based on our self-identification. Here's what happens subconsciously when you're making a decision, okay? Your subconscious basically asks three questions. One, who am I? However you see yourself, that's the first question your subconscious asks before it does anything. However you program that, that's the path it's going to start down. Then it says, what kind of situation am I in? And then it says, what would someone like me do in this situation? And then that's how it acts. However you see yourself is driving that. If you try to change your behavior without changing your identity, it's like cutting a weed off at the surface of the ground and not getting rid of the roots. Motivation and willpower, as we all know, do not equip you with the power to change. The focus is not acting different. The focus is thinking different and thinking different, especially about yourself. We tend to define ourselves by how people in our lives think about us. We see ourselves through the eyes of others, specifically the eyes of the people that we hang around most. We let those people define us. Do you have a mental picture of your future self. I'll put that in terms that are easy to understand, then you can apply it to whatever, okay? Let's say I wanted to lose 30 pounds. Well, if I'm going to stay on that path, then I need to have a mental picture of how I'm going to look when I've lost 30 pounds, how I'm going to feel when I've lost 30 pounds, how people are going to see me after I've lost 30 pounds. Okay. I need to change the way I see myself. When you start moving down that path, there are going to be some people that you've been with that are probably going to poo-poo the idea. We talk about this all the time. I'm not going to go down this path, but you got to change who you're hanging out with. Okay. If I were going to lose 30 pounds, I'd hang out with people that had lost 30 pounds. I'm reading a biography about Elon Musk for, for two reasons. One, I'm curious about him and how the person's wired and, and so on. Okay. But the second reason I'm reading a biography about Elon Musk is I want to explore possible changes in how I think. The better version of ourself that we can plan on becoming. Having this future self will change how we live today. Having a future you in mind helps you engage in deliberate practices. Deliberate practices help you move toward the specific goal. But if you don't have a vision of your future self, and it could be a future self physically, it could be a future self as a father, as a mother, as a spouse. People with a growth mindset don't fixate on now. Are you viewing yourself today in a state of becoming, what you're becoming, what your future self is? People that are fixated on a future self have confidence that they're going to become something better. How do you view failures? How do you view, did you hit your numbers in February? Okay. Did you not? Okay. How do you view that? Did you close the sale, not close the sale? Did you get a recruit, didn't get a recruit? Okay. How do you view that? Are you viewing that as a failure or are you viewing that as stepping stones 
to what's next for you. That's the difference. So I'm just going to ask you, sometime today, put 30 minutes in your calendar. And this is non-negotiable. I want a half an hour that you're going to be completely uninterrupted. You're going to go somewhere where no one can bother you. I want you to write about the future you. I want you to write about the hero you're going to be in 10 years. The hero for the ones you love, the hero in your office. Okay, I want you to write about the hero 10 years from now. Create a target for yourself. Where do you want to get to? Engage in deliberate practice. And then what I want you to do is I want you to write in your calendar every day, right when you wake up, why you are working today. Now, this doesn't have to be a story. This might be a couple lines. What future life will you have because of today? 